What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Madden 23 and how it is easily the worst game in gaming company in 2023. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video. We will be dropping videos like this until Madden 23 fixes itself. They are scamming customers and it is out of hand. Let's get into the breakdown. My whole LB, boom, come out here, look for work, and we should have either the cornerback or we should have a disengage. So if you load into Madden and you go into what they call Madden Ultimate Team, they have something called field passes. This has been not working the entire year. It has not been giving you the rewards that you earned. If you put in four to five hours of your time on this game that you pay for, some people pay 90 to $100 for this game. You are not getting rewarded, okay? As you can see, I am level 61 right now. I am maxed out. I can go no further, and then they just dropped the new competitive pass, okay? So with this new competitive pass, you're gonna play solos, solo battles, online head to head against other people, and you're gonna be getting what they call competitive points, okay? You get a certain amount of competitive points, and then you're gonna go up and get more and more rewards, 5,000 coins here. You're gonna get a Mutt Champions token, so then you can go into the Mutt Champions part, and then you can get even more competitive points, okay? Now, when the game was first released, a lot of these rewards were not coming out to the players, even after they spent four, five, six hours grinding out all the free stuff that Madden showcase you were supposed to be able to get. Still to this day, I am maxed out on the full first season and I do not have my free Wooly, who is a cornerback that you got, and I still never even got the CD Lamb, okay? But that's besides the point. What I am missing right now is head-to-head -head season rewards. I have won about nine to 11 Super Bowls. You don't get trophy packs ever since the community started what they call a peck strike, trying to get EA to fix the peck odds. So when they are spending 100, 120 real dollars on the game, they were not guaranteed to even get the best card out of the bundle that they bought. So if we take a look at the store right now, it is ridiculous. If you come over to Marketplace and Madden 23 Ultimate Team, they don't give you the rewards for the stuff that you have grinded for, that you have spent your hours in to get. But if you look in the store, you can spend as much money as possible. 12,000 points. You can get this seven different times. If you go into the store, 12,000 points is 100 dollars seven different times that's 700 blood sweat and tear dollars that you can spend on this one bundle you can do this four different times you can spend another 300 dollars real dollars not madden 23 dollars real dollars madden points is something that you can use your credit card for madden points is something that you can use your real savings account and purchase this seven different times 99 dollars and 99 cent per bundle you can spend 700 dollars on this game in about 10 minutes okay right here you can get five of these 500 dollars in about 10 minutes on this piece of crap game they can't give you none of the free rewards that you earn anything that you have earned from spending your time if you spend two hours into the game you are not a hundred percent sure that you are going to get your rewards but 
you can be guaranteed that every single week they will update this store there won't be a problem you can go in there every single week and you can spend over 1500 real dollars on this piece of crap game this is no different than what you see in real life a company that started in 1950 1960 from a person that person died the company goes down to a kid or a family member and before you know it they slowly take away the bonuses that you used to get when you first started at the company they start taking away the raises that you were getting every three months every six months this is the same exact way this is the devil's playground okay if you are playing madden do not i repeat do not spend any of your hard-earned money you can sit in the house when you are supposed to be saving money and they can literally have an option for you to spend over three thousand real dollars on this game whether your savings account whether the credit card and they do not plan on anytime soon giving us any kind of update on when we are going to get free rewards this is only video number one okay as long as this keeps going on a lot of people love sports they love football they love baseball they love sports that's the reason why this is a game that a lot of people play now the worst part about madden 23 is if you go in here and you spend all the money that you can in this store you still are not guaranteed to get the player that you really want so if you go into this legends bundle and you're looking for the newest 91 overall michael vick or any card if you spend $500 right here in the store, you still only have about a 10% chance at being able to get that card that you really want. All you guys need to be sharing the video, comment it down below what problems you have had in Madden 23. If you are not addicted to the game, go in the comment section and say it. Do not spend any money. I don't plan on even buying the game next year. It has got beyond out of control.